Uh, so I think some of the updates in the uh, 2025 gold document that people were most interested in uh, related to the placement of two new medications that were approved for COPD within the last year. So uh, that includes encephentrin, uh, which is a nebulized PD3, PD4 inhibitor, uh, as well as uh, 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 dupilumab that targets the IL-4, IL-13 uh, receptor, which is a type 2 inflammation pathway. So um, yeah, people are, were, I think, really excited and most uh, interested in, in seeing where those those two medications would be placed within the document. Yeah, so uh, in terms of, um, you know, general, I think, diagnosis and, and, and staging and, and categorization, that has not changed. So there's still an A, B, and an E. Um, as uh, initial categories, which stand for kind of low symptoms, low risk, higher symptoms, but still low risk. And then E is the patient that's high risk for exacerbations. Um, uh, and the initial treatment suggestions have not changed. That There was a major update last year, but the initial treatments uh, have, have not changed. Um, uh, the, uh, for group, uh, for group uh, E in particular, uh, the initial uh, recommendation now is LABA plus LAMA, uh, which is a little bit of a change from before and I think was confusing to a lot of practitioners that LABA ICS does, is nowhere in the initial treatment. And so we actually now in the updated document have um, specific some specific discussion about what to do with patients that are already on ICS LABA because those were approved, still are approved. Uh, for patients, and they're still quite uh, widely used. And when you move to follow-up treatment, and I think a lot of people forget that follow-up treatment is different than initial treatment and that you move algorithms, the follow-up treatment algorithm now has the two medications placed, encephentrin and dupilumab. So encephentrin was placed on the left-hand side of the uh, uh, follow-up treatment pathway, which is the dyspnea side. Uh, and you have to remember, so the encephentrin studies showed uh, that there was significant improvements in lung function and symptoms. Um, they actually happened to also see improvement in exacerbations, but um, those patients were on a wide variety of background therapies and not many patients were on triple inhaled therapy. And so Gold, generally speaking, felt uncomfortable uh, putting the medication on the exacerbation path of the document. So um, the, the general recommendation is that the patient's already on bronchodilators and they're still having symptoms, encephentrin um, would be a good potential additional option, realizing, of course, that encephentrin is only available in the United States currently. So, so that's where encephentrin got placed. On the other side of the, uh, of the, other side of the uh, pathway, you see follow-up treatment for exacerbation. And here we see that dupilumab was placed parallelly with um, three other potential add-ons once you've maximized triple inhaled therapy for some patients. So um, those previously, the add-ons could include azithromycin and rifulamas. Now dupilumab is a new potential add-on for patients who have a greater 300 eosinophils or greater. Uh, and there actually, we actually did have a little bit of debate uh, because a lot of the, the azithromycin data in particular is pretty old and actually was not done on a background of triple therapy. And so there was a lot of debate about, you know, how do we compare old studies to new studies? Um, the dupilumab studies were much more rigorously done in patients already on triple therapy. So I think physicians just need to understand that caveat. Uh, but um, you know, based on the on the data from the Boreas and the Notice studies, uh, there is quite good data to suggest that dupilumab added on to triple therapy can help to reduce exacerbations in patients with high eosinophil. So, so that's where uh, dupilumab uh, comes in. So, those are some of the some of the highlights for changes to um, this year's update. 